Hi, I'm Colin Ratchford at CES 2023. We are the American Printing House for the Blind. We are an organization that's been in business for 165 years, and we got our start uh, making textbooks, transcribing textbooks into Braille for low vision and blind students. A couple of the products that we have on display today are some of our refreshable Braille displays. So here we have our Chameleon 20. It's a uh, refreshable Braille display with the Perkins style keyboard and 20 cells of refreshable Braille. Um, what's really cool about this device is it can uh, connect up to five different devices simultaneously and you can use it for input and output. Um, so the refreshable Braille display at the bottom will read one line of text on your screen and then when you're ready to toggle to that second screen, you'll hit one of these buttons down here and it'll refresh the Braille um, with these electro um, Pezo cells that we have underneath that uh, don't make a sound and they refresh in real time. Another one of our refreshable Braille displays is our Mantis Q40. Um, it's kind of uh, similar specs as our Chameleon 20, but this is a uh, full QWERTY style keyboard with 40 cells of refreshable Braille at the bottom of it. Um, kind of same functionality, we'll connect up to five devices at once, um, Bluetooth enabled uh, with Wi-Fi wi wi connectivity. Um, we really see these devices used in um, some rehabilitation centers, so uh, adults that are experiencing macular degeneration or other vision loss diagnosis, they'll tend to gravitate towards a device like this because they're comfortable with the QWERTY style keyboard. Here we have a product called CoJumper. CoJumper won a CES Best Innovation Award in uh, 2020. Uh, this is a product that we developed in partnership with Microsoft, and what it does is it takes block-based coding and tactually puts it in your hands. So you have this master pod right here that connects via Bluetooth to a Surface Pro tablet that we have on the screen, and we've uh, down, we've had the sound set of Row Your Boat, so. Uh, students will use this tool to build out the code to play the song Row, Row, Row Your Boat. So right now we have a loop uh, connected to the pod, so we'll be able to see that uh, Row is going to play three times when I press the play button. Row, row, row. And so from there we can start to continue to build out the rest of the song, and as a sighted uh, learner, I can uh, differentiate these pods by their colors, right? but um, somebody who's blind or low vision um, can differentiate these pods by the different uh, knobs that are on them and um, the different textures. So each one of these pods represents um, a different concept in coding. So think of loops, sequences, variables, um, kind of things like that. 